And um, I'm, I'm pretty sure y'all seen this video of the guy. He was arguing with this woman. Was taking her back to the airport because he flew her out to get the cheeks. She didn't give him the cheeks, so <laughs> he drove her ass right back to the airport and canceled the flight home. So she had to buy her own flight home. Now, I don't know if it's a skit or not, but I do feel like there's something from this. Um, yeah, y'all seen it, right? What do you think of it? I, I saw it and I ain't like it. I ain't, I don't like that, man. That's because my I'm thing is. Sure that was scripted. I mean, yeah, if, if, bro, like the fact that we even have to say if it's scripted or not is a whole nother motherfucking conversation in itself, but. That shit was found to be that you would do that to somebody. That's just me. Because, like, if if an arrangement was made, you know what I'm saying, and she flew out on his dollar, like, it, well, I don't know whether she decided to, you know, um, what's it called, decided to just not do it when she got there or not, but to, like, make, to, like, basically strand her, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like that. Uh, <laughs> uh, anybody else want to go before I get my opinion on it? My thing is, um, oh shit, <sighs> my bad, hit something on my phone. But my thing is, you know, in this day and age, like, why are people still trying to talk to people from long distance, you know, over the internet and shit like that, knowing damn well it's a possibility you could be walking into some bullshit. Like, we ain't seen enough episodes of Catfish to know that this internet dating shit ain't it. Mm. At least the catfish, at least they look at it. Was, she looked like the picture that she just didn't deliver the <laughs> what she was. I don't, but I don't know if they agreed on that or not. Because I know people can like do one thing and then like change their opinions as soon as they get there. I've seen people do it. Not, I'm not assuming that happened though, but I know like I know shit like that happened. This happened. You just go back on what they said. Also, one more thing. Just saying, if it were me, now if it were me, mm-hmm. I wouldn't have. Told, I wouldn't have told her the flight was canceled. I would have let her find that out when she got in the airport <laughs> and tried to get on the plane. Oh God! But that's just me. Thanks continues. <laughs> <laughs> I am um... supposed to pay for a trip back, right? Yeah, it was a. But I think he canceled it. Yeah, that's he, that's why I had the problem. A round with. trip. Yeah. Yeah, I think he booked he the came. round trip and then he just canceled. That's where I had a problem with it. I mean, I, I get you all the way until the point where you're not gonna give her a flight back home. You know, that's fucked up. Because if anything happened, you would have done it anyway. So it's not like you, you know, and that's fucked up to even do to a woman. It doesn't matter. I, I know. She didn't give you what you, you probably had a conversation about it, you know, before they even happened and it never happened, but that's still a fucked up move. You could put her in danger that way, you know? And, um, there was another, there was something else I was going to say. Jeez. Yeah, someone's going. Um, I'm a little on the edges. Y'all know, um, y'all are mad. So y'all are going to not want to happen um, to any female of that caliber too. Like nowadays, girls are getting kidnapped left and right. Um, but whether it's what whether it's a sketch or you know, um, I think it was needed to be seen because I think a lot of people they they do this kind of thing guy they they talk all sexual on the phone with them and then when it's time to talk about what they could do in bed and all of this stuff because most of the time modern day conversations it always goes to sex um most of the time especially if the person's long distance it's always about that kind of behavior and then when it's time to to show out nothing happens they're pulling back they didn't realize maybe you get there and 
you don't like their scent, so you don't want to do it. You have to be prepared to meet a stranger. You have to be prepared. So I just felt like she wasn't prepared enough, but it needed to be seen by other women so they know. Not Just have your own stuff. You're meeting someone. He could be... It needs to be seen. I don't think... I think that the guy um, paying... what. Well, he mentioned how much he paid or whatever, but I think the guy's wrong and I think the woman's wrong, but the woman's more wrong than the guy. That's that's how I feel. Both parties are wrong because there's no way that I'm going to get out the car if I'm embarrassed like that and be like, you getting, you acting like that because I won't give up pussy. Like, I'm not going to let anybody know what the fuck happened. I learned my lesson. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have my money on, on under wraps the next time I, I'm go out to see somebody, I'm going to take a picture of their license plate and keep it moving. Like, no. Just no. You reminded me. Um, speaking of being prepared. Yeah, so I was going to say for like, what women should do in those situations, yo, is always have a lifeline, yo, because you don't know what some motherfucker is going to do. Not only do you have to worry about something like this happening, he doesn't pay for your fight, flight back, but for any case, you got to be prepared to just dip. You know, don't put everything at, at his mercy. Mm -hmm. You know, have the extra funds to be able to fly. But he might pay for the round trip. That's nice. But have that to go back home, yo. Have that half of it to go back home just in case. Because yeah. if, if he manages to be a predator <laughs> and you escape, you know, you want to no. go home, son. You don't want to be left in, the, you know. So yeah, that's what sh that's what women should do. I don't care if you're on the good side of this or the bad side of this as a woman. Mm -hmm. In general, yo, if somebody's gonna fly you out somewhere, do not be at their mercy at all. And that's another thing. He's flying her out. He should be the one, you know, her. But that's on another level. Like you have all this money to do all of this stuff, but you don't have the time to go and and visit her first in her own comfort in her like she should have never lost but to each his own everything's different because most guys are well some guys are gentlemen when when it's the woman coming out there to visit but for the ones that act like that mm -mm, you definitely gonna be stranded it's not an if and or but you are Okay, I'm gonna start by saying this, women, you are, um, is your body, your choice. Obviously, you're not obligated to give um, the coochie away. Um, you don't want to, you have all the right for that. But be mindful, we all grown here. You know damn well that that nigga wanted to fly you out just for the fucking cheeks. <laughs> not, it's like, I don't understand. I don't understand this generation of people just trying to play stupid because we all fucking grown. It's like, this is why your grandparents say a dry person and a wet pussy don't mix. Wow. Or, or, it's like, this is, this is, <laughs> this is, no, but this is the shit why people say a dry person and a wet pussy don't mix. You know damn well, like, a nigga's gonna fly you up. You gonna fly you out there to talk? Like, that's fucking stupid. That's fucking stupid. Don't get me wrong, I'm with Crystal. They're both in the wrong. She's more than wrong. Uh, her dumb ass want to fly out there without no fucking backup plan. I don't know if she had the money to get back home and shit. And if she didn't, I'm not going to lie to you. I I kind of have no sympathy. That's your dumb ass fault. Um, I learned this for good times. And I know this is like not the 70s, but, you know, Florida said always have a dollar and a dime to get home. It's like a, do a dollar to get home and a dime to call, like, call somebody, to know, you know. Basically, always have a backup plan just in case some shit, some bullshit happens. It's like, I even learned this in the Navy, just like have a plan just in case some bullshit happens. I'm like, what are, what are we doing? What are we doing here? Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. I, I feel like, I feel like, um, some of, some of the women, and I'm not, this is not all women, but I feel like some of you women, you know. <laughs> Y'all doing, and then y'all want to play stupid anyway, and then it's just like, um, and then when fucking some shit happens on you, it's like those women that go to All Star game with no fucking way back, and if that's that is they be stuck in whatever fucking state they in, trying to get their way back, and people gotta give them a GoFundMe like that. It's just like, 
you do not play. It's like some of you hoes just do that. And I'm not saying this all women, just talking to the hoes. Some of you hoes <laughs> are dumb and you just do that accordingly. It's like if you're going to hoe, hoe correctly, like men do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Ain't that right, Father? We hoe correctly. <laughs> Bruh, men are the better hoes. Uh. So, whether whether this is a not, I do hope people learn a lesson from this. It's just like don't be stupid. Yeah, don't be stupid. Yeah, yeah. Don't be game yeah, goofy. Just, just, yeah, don't be game goofy. Just like I don't, I don't understand. Like the nigga flew you out there for whatever the fuck you from with from to talk, nigga. I could do that over the phone. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> we, we got FaceTime, we got Skype, we got Uvu, we got my Facebook DM messages and all that other stuff. We ain't gotta, you ain't gotta come face to face to talk. And all that stuff. You should already know. You should already know. So, anybody, anybody else got anything to say before we move on to our next topic? Um, the last thing I have to say is for anyone listening to this podcast, especially if you are a woman, do not meet the person all the way like say if it's a mutual state that both of you guys can meet in if time he's given equal time and everything is on equal basis balanced out you don't have to feel like and and pay for your own trip pay for your own trip and have extra money that's the best because people are going to do whatever the fuck they want to do as much as they are kidnapping melanin sisters so it is what it is. You can't live in fear, but at the same time, be prepared. That's all I got to say. Also, brothers, and I want to put this out. If, because some niggas is going to do it anyway, if you're going to get a girl flued out, please make it known ahead of time. If we flying, we fucking. If, <laughs> he's like, if she says no, then you don't think you save your money. He's like, I, I think you should be up front. Hey. Let it be known. Oh, you yeah. should put me out there. We fine. We fuck it. And, you know, go a step ahead. Ask her a contract. <laughs> it's just like, if I fly you out here, you are required. And then if she don't, sue her ass. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to listen to... Shoot. If people saw... If people saw $10,000 for a bad day, you could sue for some... Uh, um, coot- sue for for some coochie that you was uh you're obligated to sign for, you know. And to that, I, I say consciousness I just, over coochie. <laughs> yes. Politics over puna. Black is beautiful. <laughs> uh, you you annoy you annoyed women. I annoyed this man. So. <laughs> uh, on to, on to the next topic. Um. Uh, and this happened right after the uh, I done wrapped up last week's podcast. Will Smith finally comes on Instagram three months later after this. 